Mikhailo Mudrik. I think I might also love this guy. Same hair color as my wife, but uh, more tattoos. He's um, <laughs> sort of uh, looking interesting and sort of looking guy. Looks like a good player of football, JJ Bull, with yeah. a purpose. He's very good. Yeah. Um, he's really quick. You saw him in a couple of uh, bursts late in the game where he came on and just made things happen. Mm. This is what this guy does. He makes things happen. He's very direct, very explosive, you could say. Uh, he explodes. Yeah, he's two-footed, like completely two-footed. He can go either way. He can cross from his left and his right because mm. he's two-footed. Yeah. And he can shoot with his left or his right. All the things important for a football a player. And, you know, the thing that's important for a football team mm. is that they have him signed on an extremely long contract. Chelsea have a few of these now. Almost seems as though they're in vogue, John McKenzie. Uh, big old contracts for Wesley Fofana, Benoit Badiashile as well. Um, seven or eight year stretches. Why are they doing? Why are they doing this? Well, Todd, Todd Bowley is an American. He owns other sports franchises in America. Yes, and having long contracts is a thing that they do in the U.S. In America, it, it's true. We I, learn so much from America, don't we? We we do. Yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, that's thrown me a bit. Okay. <laughs> but, um, why so long, America? Yeah, well, Americans have longer contracts, but there's a different yeah. context of transfer They have longer lives. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, they've actually worked out how long these players are going to live and divided their age by... Yeah. <laughs> that's not what happens. No, no, no. Um, But obviously mm. there's, a, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to have a longer contract as a, a club, because... Yeah. Expected life. <laughs> expected life. Yeah. Um, there's John John's reached the end of his tether with us interrupting now. We'll let him, no, we'll let him carry on. You've got Steve Hanky to be a producer and try and yeah. rein it in. You've got much worse ever since you did. <laughs> Come on, Steve. That's why, just why plausible you... deniability yeah. right there, yeah. isn't it? He's like, no, well, I'm actually producer. interested in the answer to this question. Yeah, but essentially, if you have a young player and you can get them on a long contract, it, it de-risks a lot of the, mm. the, the issues that you can have, both in terms of... So there's, there's two issues, I think. One of them is obviously just actual value. You're worried about the, the, the value of your player. Um, but the other one is FFP value as well, so things with amortisation as well. As you know, when you when you bring in a player, you um, you're able to spread the, the the cost of that player through a number of years. Uh, the longer that that contract is going to be, the more you're able to spread that cost, and so the, the smaller, smaller the, the book value fee. will actually be. Yeah. And it means they're worth more money later on. So if you had a player on like a three four year deal. Towards the end of that, they might be worth fifty million at the start, then they're worth less because people would see, well, you've got less time in your contract, so you could. Is yeah, that... basically. So when you when you're buying a player, you're not actually just buying that player. No one owns the player. What you're buying is the the right to play that player for a certain amount of time. So Mikhail Mudrik has been bought for however much it was, hundred million, was yeah. it eighty million for seven years, right? Yeah, or eight. Something. So you you've paid seventy eighty million to play that player for those for those years. Let's make it simple and say it was eighty million okay, in eight years, eight years, even though it yeah. wasn't. That's uh, the amortized value yeah. is ten million a year. Right? So yeah, everything that you bring in as a business will devalue through time, and that contract is no different, right? The, the further you go through that contract it's worth less but you've also been paying to play the player so you're getting the value out of it as well mm. so if you have a long contract you're able to spread the value over a, a longer period and yeah if you what as you go through that each year you're taking 10 million off that value so halfway through that that contract mudrick will be considered to be worth for 40 million yeah. in terms of the book value the remaining that the, the chelsea still have to pay the question therefore is i can understand entirely why a club would want to do that because it seems that it's completely within their interest. Why would a player mm. at Mudrick's age sign an eight-year contract if you think, for example, okay, four years down the line you have a, a great run of seasons and Real Madrid or Barcelona come in for you, offer you a pay rise, they want to take you on, but your club won't sell because there's four years of your contract left? Just before I get to that, just oh. some of the other things that it's better for the club but, before we get to the player. But, like, obviously... When the player's contracted, they can't leave for free, which mm -hmm. is obviously the longer that you have, the less time you have to worry about that. And if you think about a player having like a three or four year contract, as soon as they've gone one or two years into that three or four year contract, you're immediately having to think of selling them on mm -hmm. because you want them to get value back for them. If you, sell, if you get to the a year before their contract is up, their value is going to be much lower than peak again. So if you have a longer contract, you don't have that issue until much later in mm -hmm. their contract as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can also keep wages lower. You know what the wage packet is going to be for that player because it will be probably straight line. But there, there may be situations where you can say at a certain point your wage is going to go up or down depending on where you're at in the contract. Um, and even if like a player gets injured, like a lot of people say, well, what if you buy a player 
on an eight year contract and they get injured, clubs do have um, pretty um, pretty slick insurance packages as well. So that that has been de-risked as well. And and again, it's important to remember that this is a sort of linear risk model as well. So like your in, your insurance premium is going to go up, but you know exactly how it's going to go up. It's going to go up in a linear manner. So yeah. again, you're, you, it's going to cost you the same amount as if you bought a, a player on a short contract, etc. So That's right. it's just ways for the club to know that they're actually de-risking themselves in terms of this player's career. It's it's it's, it's going to be fine for them. It's I'm, important to remember that this is a linear risk model. <laughs> I'm going to start using right. that line. <laughs> well, um, Harry Kane's gone and done himself with that long contract at Spurs. Well, and, indeed. So but then that would be the downside of it, right, for the player? Yeah, for the player, yeah. Something um, you can't even do in some countries. Yes, yes. So um, there, there is there is rules about. I think that Italy. It, you can't do, you can't sign players in Italy for FIFA. For you're five not allowed years. to offer a contract that's over five years unless the con- the laws of the country that you're in allow allow it. Allow so in it, Italy, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that and and that is a that's a workers' rights thing, right? Because mm. as you're saying, once you're in a contract, it's very hard to get out of it unless certain conditions are met as well. So the the big question is why would a player agree to do that? But I think someone of Mod- Modric's age. He would be. I, I think if, when it's a big club like Chelsea, you can be pretty sure that like that's not going to ruin your career, um, unless you do something wrong or something goes wrong for you. Mm. Um, I, I guess the other thing that you might talk about would be, um, it, as you were saying before, if you're amortising a player on a really high wage, they might not uh, on a really high um, transfer fee. Sorry, they may not want to sell you early on because they'll. As we said, if, if Mudrick's value is going down by 10 million a year and they paid 80 million for him after two years he'll still be have a book value of 60 million to them and it would be unlikely that unless he really explodes that they would make more money than that so again that might um, induce Chelsea to try and keep him on as, as long and say mm-hmm. once he's got three years left on his contract then he's only book valued at 30 million and so and so they might they would then be able to book a profit if they sold him for more than 30 million so um, I think there's th- th- there is definitely like a risk for the player, but I, I think you know that you're guaranteed to get a decent wage for for eight and a half years. Mm. Um, and if you're a young player in particular, I guess there's there's always the risk that you might not live up to your potential. And so this might be the best contract that he could feasibly get for the rest of his career. Um, and and if it isn't, and he does really well, then you would hope that he would be able to be sold on as well. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a brave new world of like approaching contracts. And I think clubs are going to try and do that if they can, because obviously they're, they're de-risking those, yeah. those contracts. But the risk is going to be, as always, to the players. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.